Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels and to the 11th day of our 14 day RC helicopter review challenge. Yesterday we moved away from toy helicopters and into the territory of transition grade helicopters. I call transition grade to those helicopters between the toy grade and hobby grade. They usually range between $40 to $150. Yesterday's helicopter was a real four channel WL Toys B911S and I was slightly disappointed because it was very jerky. Today we have another WL Toys 4 channel helicopter. It is V988. It's also called Power Star 2. So it was $49.99 at that time plus shipping. But there were some discounts and after I took out the discounts it came down to $45 shipped to my door, which is a good price for this ready to fly RC helicopter. That is at that transition grade, it comes with everything you need. So let's open it up and see what is inside and if it's going to be better than yesterday's. So here is everything inside the box, the helicopter, which looks very, very similar to V911S. I mean, I'm going to put them side by side and I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell the difference except the color scheme. The skids are exact same length. The tail boom seems to be the maybe a uh, let me see, it's difficult to tell but Um, it looks like this is a little Power Star 2 is just a slightly shorter. Let me try to show you. I put them nose first. As you see, 9-11 is just slightly shorter. Am I showing it from the correct angle? I'm going to put the nose down over here, both of the nose down. And as you can see, there's maybe a quarter inch length difference. This is the 911S is a slightly longer. And I think the skids are the same. Everything is the same in the front. It must be the tail boom. Uh, but other than that, they look very similar. I mean, even the, the gears, metal gear and everything. So let's take a look at the battery. Just going to take it out. Let's put this away. Kind of stuck in there. Okay, so this is a smaller battery. It is LiPo 3.7, so 1S, 3.7 volt, 250 milliamp hour battery. This is slightly smaller. Yesterday, this one had a 300 milliamp hour battery. So this is 250, it's a slightly smaller battery. And then same charger, WL Toys, with this cable goes to USB adapter and then you can charge two batteries at a time. I got the version with single battery. And then one set of spare rotor blades. One main gear on the bottom. And then one little tail rotor. And on this one, I don't see any screwdriver, but we have a little Allen wrench here. And then, of course, the instruction manual, and very similar to the one from yesterday. Of course, the, the transmitter looks identical, except this one says V988T, and this one says V911S and a slight difference on the left hand side it says six axis gyro in a kind of a soft rectangle and this says six axis gyro under a I don't know what is Adam <laughs> the transmitter is ready to go now it's time for the indoor review flight Let's put it on the helipad 
The transmitter needs to be turned on first, and then you connect the battery. And then once the battery is connected, you lay it on the flat ground so it calibrates the gyro. Alright, the servos are moving, so it is ready to go. I'm really excited about this. I hope this is going to perform better, not as jerky as the yesterday. So let's do this. It needs a forward trim, but other than that, it's not doing that jerky movement, which is a great thing. It is just needs, uh, I think, gyro calibration or something. I'm not sure. It's just trying to fly towards me. I'm giving a lot of forward trim. I gave too much, I think. Now a little bit. But it's, it's very stable. Let me try to hover it and see if it'll backward trim. Maybe I'll uh, right trim or left. Okay. Definitely more stable and less jerky than the 911S. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the gyro yesterday or the transmitter, I'm not sure. Yeah, the rotations are pretty good. Okay. This close quarter is kind of getting me all nervous. Okay. It's definitely a better helicopter than yesterday's. I'm not sure if yesterday's is a lemon. I don't know. I will be able to tell you more probably once I have a chance to try it out with one of my OpenTX transmitters, either the Jumper T Lite or the Radio Masses TX16S. And if that issue disappears, then it will be the transmitter. If it doesn't disappear, probably it's inherent to the gyro or the controller board. This on the other hand is great. It is fast, it is quick, it is probably quicker than my Eshin E119. And I think I was on, on the low setting. Let me test it out. Yeah, I was on the low and it was still moving pretty quickly. I'm not going to try the high speed mode because this is close quarters and I'm afraid of hitting those beams or the walls and breaking it. I'm not going to let my younger son carry it tested because even I was having trouble. I consider myself advanced beginner slash maybe close to intermediate helicopter flyer. Not that good. I'm not as good as flying airplanes. I'm still learning and I'm using these as tools to be a better RC helicopter pilot. So far this is definitely better and seems to be faster than my other helicopters. Maybe this is the fastest that I have been flying lately. Okay, so next is going to be the outdoor flight testing. Another gloomy day, a little bit of breeze, five, six miles per hour, but nothing this little fast guy cannot handle. So let's do this. I'm going to attempt a quick takeoff to see how much power it has. This is full power. And this is in the... Fantastic. Yeah, this is much more stable than the 911S yesterday. This is definitely it's not wagging its tail. It's solid, steady, and this is
This is full forward. And I feel more confident with this one. It's not doing that strange jitters. And now I set it to high speed. And it, it goes, wow, it's quick really. Too quick for my taste actually. Let's bring it down a little bit. I gain quite a bit of altitude. I slowly advance the throttle and forward together because it gets a little scary otherwise. So I'm going to set it back to slow mode, bring it a little close and let's do like a, from hover to full speed up, it's a full throttle up and then if I cut, cut it down, cut, yeah it's, don't cut the throttle all the way, you know, the, then gyro doesn't have any might. I'm, I think this is getting a little boring because I don't have too much skills with helicopters so I'm going to land and give my final verdict. But any landing on that H is a good landing so <laughs> so much different compared to yesterday. I mean it's the same brand, very similar specs, smaller battery actually, shorter tail boom, flies great, great out of the box. I'm really happy with this one. Yesterday's, I'm not sure what happened. Is that bad gyro, bad receiver, something is wrong with it. it. It should not be like that, but this is perfect. I really like this. It is fast, it is quicker than yesterday's, but it's also very stable. So I highly recommend it. This is not beginner in my opinion because you need to have the, the, that muscle memory built in when you are flying slowly. This can get out of hand, out of control very easily. Start with one of those pseudo 4 channel that LC02 Thunder. That pseudo 4 channel actually it has the right controls on that one. So start with something like that or start with Eshin E129 my younger son has and I'll put the link over at the right hand corner as well as in down in the description. Those are great starter helicopters. This one could be a second one after you have the muscle memory and your right left and orientation skills. Now day 11 is completed. Tomorrow is a new day, a new helicopter, something a little larger than this. So stay tuned for that, stay safe and healthy and hope to see you on that video. Take care, bye bye.